Today, I am ditching the boat and we are hitting the bank chasing after a fish that I have not yet been able to catch. We're out here at the dam. It was rain this morning. It's got the water flowing, which sets up perfect conditions for striper fishing. So I'm here exploring it today, hoping to land a big one. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm throwing spoons and like big swim baits and stuff. And uh, we're gonna see if I can get on one. But if you guys like this type of content, like me ditching the boat, hit that subscribe button. I'm not ditching the boat, by the way. Okay, let's do this thing. Well, I see an open area and I'm going for it, baby. Cause I have no idea what I'm doing. Come on, don't fall and die today. I can do that tomorrow. Ooh. This will be interesting. We are doing a different kind of fishing today. Oh gosh. We are out here at the dam. And uh, we're gonna throw some big swim baits. See if we can get on some stripers. It uh, stormed all this morning. So they kind of got the water flow really good right now and the water clarity, not horrible. So I'm gonna start with my finesse swim bait. <laughs> This is out dangerous. Let's see if we can hook into anything. And yeah. So the cool part about this is how dangerous and why I'm starting it is I actually thought the water clarity was gonna be a lot worse than what it is, but that Zal Dangerous has that awesome thump to it. So that thump will hopefully cause a little bit more, uh, I don't know what I'm looking for attraction to it in this dirtier water dude that guy's got a giant catfish and it looks like he has a striper or a white bass or something but i've never caught a striper before and that's the goal we're already at a huge disadvantage because a lot of these guys all are using live bait which is probably what i should be doing but you know i'm not that smart or I should say not knowledgeable, I guess, in live bait. What are they tossing? Uh-oh. Is that the dam alarm? I think that means that they're about to let more water out, which would be super sick. And it's kind of crazy to see how fast this current and the water just pours out of there so before i upsize my profile i'm just gonna downsize just to see because i got a hit on that spoon so i'm thinking the spoon might be too big so i'm just literally i think this is just an exo swim that i got from a mystery tackle box so we're just gonna rock that but yeah downsizing i don't know if this rod's gonna be able to do it but you know i figure something's got to hit this swim bait it, whether it's a bait fish or what Honestly, guys, I don't know why everybody keeps looking at me weird out here. I'm just tossing a bait around. Like, come on. We have gotten like two bites, zero fish. I'm gonna keep gunning out, but whew, if you guys have any tips for catching fish out of dam on non-live bait, let me know. Oh, struggle. Okay guys, there is way too much old hickory and the water is not flowing as much as I thought it would be because, you know, I don't know what the deal is. It thunderstormed all day and yesterday, so I don't know why it's not flowing. But we're making a move over to Percy Priest because I am determined to catch a damn fish. Fish on a dam. Fish on a dam. That sounded bad. Fish on a dam. I'll see you at Priest. Much better than Percy, or much better than Old Hickory Day. That's the flow I'm looking for, baby. Gives me that tingly feeling. That sounded weird. I have a tingly feeling without the flow. Okay. Yes, sir. That's the flow I'm looking for. The bait fish 
to be staging up right at the end of where the, the kind of the heavy current is. And so, yeah. It's not about all just stuff. Fishing, so. Ooh, that hurt. Do I got a fish? Or do I got a line? I either got a fish or I got line. Dang. Nobody next to me. Yeah, I'm still here at Percy. Uh, there's like no bait fish activity at Percy when there's a ton at Old Hickory. But Old Hickory, the current wasn't moving. <laughs> <laughs> 